Hello, and welcome to another edition of L2P TV, where we cover League of Legends. Today, we will be covering the Season 1, Week 54, Champion Rotation for the Free Champions. My name is Charlie, and I am accompanied today by... Joyce. And Ryan. Our resident nutcake. <laughs> resident what? Nutcake. So, today's free rotation is... Anivia. Ash, Malphite, Master Yi, Morgana, Mordekaiser, Twisted Fate, Poppy, Maokai, and Rumble. Why didn't they put them in alphabetical order? Because they're weird. <laughs> I was trying to do it in alphabetical order, and then I'm like, Maokai, Morgana, oh, I missed Mordekaiser, and Maokai. Um, so, our immediately visible threats out of this list. Twisted Fate. <laughs> and Anivia. Uh, Twisted Fate is more of a liability than a threat. Right, right. Um, <laughs> if you know the, how to play. The, uh, all right, um, eventually we'll be getting to it in our A through Z, but uh, Twisted Fate was the first uh, champion that I actually bought with with uh, IP. Your influence points. With my influence points. Um, with the exception of... Um, of Rise, because I bought Rise, because it said recommended, and, you know, you should always have one waiting in the wings, but, um... That you never learned. <laughs> that I never learned. Um, but, yeah, Twisted Fate, I really like Twisted Fate. I'm very good at Twisted Fate for, as Charlie put it so eloquently, a nub cake. Um, Twisted Fate's one of those guys in, dra in uh, blind pick mode or normal mode that you just pick automatically just to stop everyone else. If you're good at Twisted Fate, you just pick him because you don't want anyone else fucking him up. Yeah, like, that's 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 what I do. Uh, if if Twisted Fate is on the is on the free week, uh, I will uh, I will select him but not lock in until there's five seconds left. Notice the completely full difficulty bar on Twisted Fate. I that don't... means don't gate stupidly. Yeah, uh, I've seen a lot of really dumb gating with Twisted Fate. Um, really terrible gating with Twisted Fate. Uh, I was someone attempted to gank me as Twisted Fate. They, <clears throat> all right. I was, I was going in. Uh, I was trying. I was helping out on the, on the uh, inner top or inner mid, uh, inner mid turret. Um, Twisted Fate, uh, or I, I noticed that, uh, Twisted Fate is using Destiny. And I'm like, okay, this is, this isn't gonna, uh, alright, what's, what's gonna happen now? From behind me, Twisted Fate, uh, shows up and starts, uh, and starts off with a blue card. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Always wrong. have yellow card queued up. Your card will stick with you. The pick a card, it will stick with you if you gate. So, always if you're going in for a gank, always have yellow card queued up. So in in any event, now now he's got me trapped, or so he thinks, between him and and his uh, and his mid inner turret. Um, this is this is completely wrong because as Oriana as I happen to be, uh, command attack, dissonance, um, protect. Uh, attack goes through him, uh, dealing him damage. The dissonance uh, uh, deals the AOE damage, slows him. The protect comes back through him to shield me, uh, dealing him more damage. Uh, another command attack. He's now more or less half health because Twisted Fate happens to be really squishy. Oh it's god, Oriana, run! And so he decides <laughs> to run. This is not happening because I use shockwave, pull him back towards me. Another dissonance, another protect, another attack. Meanwhile, clockwork windup is just uh, is just pounding into him, and um, yeah, it was a it was a terrible gank attempt and fantastically thwarted. See now that strategy would have worked just fine if you're between if you're between him and his turret and he had yellow card queued up. The minute he went, you went to attack him, he would have yellow carded you, got you stuck, you would have been hit by the turret a couple times, and if he was building AD like he probably should have been, because a lot of people expect you to come in and like 
just gate in and uh, base, like backdoor the base with gate. Mm -hmm. um, you can't do that as AP. You have to be AD for that. So a lot of people are going to expect you to do that, and if you can't, pro and if you can't provide what the team needs, you might as well not even be playing the champion. So we're going to move on to immediately viable threats, assuming the player is good. Yeah. Anivia. Anivia. Okay, Anivia. Anivia is a huge threat. In fact, actually, there isn't anybody on this list, save Maokai, that I believe is... You, you can't really be passive around these people. Rumble, that knows his knows how to deal with his overheating, is insanely good. Um, Mordekaiser, if built correctly, can just eat you and then consume your soul and make a copy. Poppy... Just rapes face. Twisted Fate, same way. Morgana's one of the amazing support champions in the game. So good. Um, Master Yi, if he knows how to jungle properly, is a huge asset because he's so fast. Jungle, all the time. All jungle the time. and gank. Like, that's all there is to it. And Ash is completely game-changing in every sense of the word. And she's really easy to not screw up. Like, you cannot screw up Ash unless you start building AP. The thing with Anivia is, if you know how to play her, and people don't know how to play against Anivia, you never die. Because if they don't notice her, if you don't know, her passive is when she dies, uh, she spawns an egg. If you do not kill said egg, especially at later levels, because at eight, at, as you increase in level, her egg gains more health, by the time you hit level 18, if they are not focus firing down your egg, you are not dying. So, um, with that, we're going to round up our threats. And now let's look to champions to avoid if you're solo queuing ranked. Because a lot of people do this. They'll do, they'll do champions that they don't know really well, and it'll screw up your team completely in ranked games. Poppy. Poppy, I, I don't know. Um... You never see her. She's, I mean, she's, you don't see her really in ranked games, but as far as champions to completely avoid because you will screw them up, I'm going to have to go with Anivia and Rumble. Those are my top two. Morgana, you can mess up really bad if you don't know how to play her. I've tried to play Morgana. She uh, doesn't have as high a difficulty as Twisted Fate, but as a brand new player, I try to play Morgana. She is so, so squishy. And if you try to be aggressive, you're gonna die. For those of us, I've seen Big Man mess up Mordekaiser because because he refuses spam. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, for the record, having morals and not being uh, cheesy, as some people like to say, it's not gonna win you games. Taking the moral high ground is not gonna pad your win total. <laughs> At all. Which is which is why. Cheat. I... Do it all the time. No, I'm joking. Which is why uh, when I started with Twisted Fate, I didn't want to be that that, uh, that guy that backdoors. And now, look at me. I'm that guy. Because you have to be that guy if you want to win games. Right. For the record, kiddies, follow the champion's difficulty settings. They are there for a reason. Yes. So, Anivia, Morgana, very, very, Twisted Fate, one of the most, the most difficult champions to play. See, so, see with Twisted Fate... I feel that his only difficulty is is getting the the timing down for pick a card, pick a card, and learning when to gate and when not to. Right. Uh, yes. So if you had to pick two characters that you think everybody is going to screw up royally, you know my two are Anivia and Rumble. Who do you think people are going to screw up the most out of that? Top Twist, two. Twist of Fate, hands down. Um, and I can't say I have a lot of experience with much of the other ones. Uh, Ash is nigh on impossible. To to royally screw Crit up. aim shot from across the zone. Uh, Yi, Yi is, uh, Yi, Yi can be screwed up, but it's... He hits like it, a dump truck, even if you do mess him up. Right. <laughs> um, so, with with that in mind, I'm gonna say Twisted Fate, hands down, I've seen so many terrible Twisted Fates that I block him. Um, and, uh, Anivia, I, w I, I would say, because I've seen some bad, uh, I've seen some bad wall placement uh, then again, y you can also see really good wall placement. It's really dependent on the player um, and if they've invested the time to justify them playing. Oh, and managing your ultimate as Anivia because you can leave it up forever. Mm. That's really important because I've seen a lot of people just leave their ult up entirely too long and just go completely oom. And they get screwed over because everybody just waits for them to run out of mana and just run in. 
But anyway, that is our show. Uh, we will catch you later. On the fields of justice. Lady Luck is smiling.